Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Dr. Coco's Medmonics. Today, we're going to be looking at primary biliary cholangitis versus primary sclerosing cholangitis. And this is a concept that I really struggled with trying to figure out which patient is which, which one they have, and what you would see as far as lab values um, or key characteristics. And before I get started, this is going to be one of my more offensive videos. I'm not trying to be um, offensive in any way. This is just a way to memorize things. Um, please don't take any of this to heart. I am more than anything trying to, if I offend you um, and you get a question right on step or complex, then fine, so be it. Like I offended you, I would rather you get those points um, and be offended than not get those points because uh, you didn't want to listen to something that could possibly be dirty. With that trigger warning, let's go on and see what the difference. So first we're gonna look at primary biliary cholangitis. This is gonna be an autoimmune reaction. You're gonna have a bunch of lymphocytic infiltrate. Um, as the name says, you're gonna have destruction of the lobar bile duct. But how do I know which one is which? And a key thing that I think, if you know which one is gonna be in males versus which one is gonna be in females, that's gonna give you a huge step up as far as figuring out the actual answer. So what do you think primary biliary cholangitis is this going to be a male or a female? And the way I remember it is probably blowing cock for primary biliary cholangitis. And so, so who's probably blowing cock? We're just going to go with females. I am really sorry about the um, homosexual community out there. I'm not trying to be rude. This is just the way that I can memorize it. So primary biliary cholangitis is going to be women because they're probably blowing cock. And why are they doing that, right? Well, it's against mom's approval and probably most would be, right? So probably blowing cock for primary biliary cholangitis and against mom's approval is going to be for the anti-mitochondrial antibody positive that you would see with this patient. If you can remember that difference, then you're probably going to get a question right on step. This is not obviously all inclusive, but this is just supposed to help you as a key difference to figuring out the answer choice. Okay, so this one's mostly in women. Well, what about primary sclerosing cholangitis? Well, this one, you're going to have beating of the intra and extra hepatic bile ducts. You're going to have an increased risk of angiocarcinoma and gallbladder cancer. And if primary biliary is pro probably blowing and it's in women, this is going to be men, right? So they're probably sucking clit for primary sclerosing cholangitis. And this is going to be men. And you can also remember that it's P. Inca positive for the probably for P. Inca. And another way I remember this, so men when they go and work out, they stink like onions. There was a dude at the gym the other day. It smelled straight like onions. So this is going to be the onion skin bile duct that you're going to see on histology. And so we're talking about probably sucking clit for primary biliary cholangitis. And we're going to just add on to that sentence that they usually can't finish the job. Not trying to be offensive again. Sorry, dudes out there. This is going to help you remember if they usually can't finish the job. This is for ulcerative colitis. So this is going to be a male patient, probably middle-aged, with a positive P. anca and onion skin bile duct. This will be primary sclerosing cholangitis. Um, I hope this little mnemonic helps you. Again, sorry that it's a little offensive. Um, and hopefully this gets you a question on steps so that you're not just like an asshole listening to my video. Um, so if you like these videos though, like and subscribe to my channel and comment below if you have any ideas of my next video.